Okay, hey guys, how's it going? It's your brother Noah. I hope that you guys are doing well. And uh, I just wanted to make this video. I felt like the Lord laid upon my heart to talk about this topic here just very briefly that God looks at the inward thoughts of your heart. Some people might see me and, you know, this ministry and just, you know, Christians in general preaching hard against sin, against outward willful sin. And don't get me wrong, that's what we should preach against. That's what we should refrain from. But ultimately, God looks at the inner thoughts of your heart, what you are saying with inside of yourself about certain topics. And this is what really is the root of where your affections are set, of what really is sin to God, because you could be still sinning in the inward thoughts of your heart, but still look like this shiny little angel person on the outside, but you need to make sure that you are paying attention to what you're saying inside of your heart when things happen to you. Genesis 6-5 says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that e every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So God was disgusted with, you know, the sexual perversion and all of these different things that were going on before the flood with those people. But what he was specifically looking at, yes, he was angry with the wickedness that was in the earth, but what really angered him was every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually. And because that was the case with that person's heart, then it manifested out into the physical that they were doing all of these wicked things. But just continually, they were agreeing with these things in their heart. They were agreeing with these demonic things inside of their mind. And when, when a demon puts a thought into your, your mind, like say for a couple examples, you're at work and somebody does something that makes you angry, and then you say with inside of yourself, or say for an example, you just hear it inside of your mind. Oh, that person is bitter. That person is undeserving. They should just drop dead. First, a demon will start to put those thoughts in inside of your inside of your mind, and then once you put your put your heart along with that thought that is entering into your mind, eventually that demonic thought enters down into your heart. And that is thus what you are starting to say eventually. So initially, it's just a demonic thought, something that the demons are telling you inside of your mind. But once you align yourself long enough, it drops down into your heart, right? You know, the devil plants that seed inside of your heart. And then eventually, once you start to agree with those things inside of your mind, then it starts to become manifest that that's what you're saying in your inner man. Originally, you were just hearing that this person should drop dead and and uh, it was kind of foreign to you. But now it's what you are even saying inside of your inner man. If you go al along with that thing that the demons are trying to feed you, right? And that's very important to understand. Or say like for an example, you know, you are like a, a sister is coveting somebody else's uh, husband, right? Like, uh, oh, you know, I wish that I had a man like that. I wish I had a husband like that. And that's just a thought in their mind initially. But then once that person literally starts to say that inside of their heart, you could tell that it's become a very big issue. Or say that, you know, you could use this example for pretty much anything, whatever it may be. Like for another example, if you're saying, oh, I just wish I had that, 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 that person's position, like initially the demons might tell you, oh, you should have that person's position. You're so much more qualified than them. And then once you put your affections, your treasure upon that, before you know it, you're starting to say with inside of your own inner man very clearly that I deserve that position, that I am better than that person. You've come in agreement with that thing. And now that's what you're saying inside of your inner man. Man, and we need to be pay paying close attention to what we're saying in our inner man when certain things tick us off, when we're under the pressures of this world. You need to make sure that you're not having those things said with inside of your heart. And many people are just completely ignorant to the things that they're saying in their inner man. They're only looking in the outward appearance. But you guys need to know that God looks at the inward man is really what you need to be uh, refining down. That your affections are not set on the things of this world, but on the things of above. Matthew 6.21 says, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 
So your affections are beginning to be set upon these things when you come in agreement with them. And now that's where your heart is placed as well. And then eventually it does end up manifesting into the physical anyway. So it starts out with a demonic thought inside of your mind, then drops down into your heart. And then once you just give, you know, heed to that, then it comes back out of your heart. So say you're at work and you're getting angry and you slowly just start to say cussing things. You, you start to say, Oh my goodness. Oh my, you know, and then it's, it turns into OMG, you know, um, you could tell that there is a still a, a deep rooted problem with inside of your heart and you need to pray that God would so soften your heart. And this is where you could tell that you still need deliverance in certain areas. And, you know, it goes much deeper than you guys realize a lot of the times as well too. But that's oftentimes why you have these things flowing out of your mouth. It's because you've come in alignment uh, with that thing inside of your inner man. And this is what Jesus Christ was, um, you know, concerned about with the thoughts of heart, heart, the thoughts of men's heart continually time and time again, he st said things like, why do you think evil inside of your hearts? You brood of vipers. How can you speak good when you are evil for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, and, and immediately Jesus perceiving in their uh, in his spirit that they questioned within themselves, said to them, why do you question these things in your hearts? So time and time again, he was looking at what people were saying inside of their hearts. He was perceiving what evil thoughts that people were coming into agreement with, with inside of their hearts, and that that's the thing that he was really concerned about, right? And uh, this is where the root of sin comes from. You know, the Bible talks about a bitter root growing up with inside of us, but anyways, uh, also Revelation 21 or 2, 21 says, And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches uh, shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto you everyone according to your works. So God is the one that's searching the inner thoughts of your hearts, and God is very upset with a lot of people that are just bogged up in, in head knowledge and they're not searching out the inner thoughts of their heart. You need to take a step back for a second when you are in certain situations and recognize what is the motive. What are you saying? Even what are you saying inside of your heart about other people? Even though you could put on a smile and say, oh, I love you. It's no big deal. I forgive you to other people. Are you secretly still saying with inside of your heart, man, I hope that person just drops dead right now. They're ugly. You know, they, all of these different things. What are you saying inside of your heart? Because God looks at the inward man. And that's what we need to be looking at as well, too. And Jesus said, only the pure in heart will see God. So... You could have all of these external outward things, but God looks at the inward man. So you need to be looking at the motive of why you are doing certain things as well, too. You could look for outward approval, but ultimately it could just come up as worthless and, you know, be counted as dung if you are not looking at the inward man. And uh, that's what we need to do as followers of Jesus Christ, right? So... What you are saying inside of your inner man, inside of the thoughts of your heart, is what you are literally saying to God. That's what God sees in the spirit realm. Um, you know, when you are doing things, uh, God is looking what you're saying in your heart. So that's like what is open before God, guys, right? That's what you have to understand. And you also have to understand as well, too, as is that as soon as demons can get your mind shifted over to a demonic pattern of thinking those demons are starting to get re leverage inside of your heart to get your heart defiled right um with with sin and um you know this is just very important to understand guys that a lot of people are not getting this yes we need to turn away from outward willful sin but then you need to also start working on the inner thoughts of your heart and keeping those clean as well too um, and like I said, this is what you are saying in the spirit realm with your inner man that you're saying with your heart, right? Um, that's what God sees in the midst of situation. He doesn't look at the outward appearance, but he looks at what you're saying in the inner man. So that's very important, uh, to realize. So you need to catch these demonic things that you're, that you are, Noticing inside of your mind, you need to cut them off before they start to become 
what you have your affection set towards because you know wherever your heart will be there your treasure will be also as well too so um that's pretty much what I, what I wanted to say for this video guys I just felt like God laid it upon my heart to give you guys this exhortation to look at when you're in situations not what you're doing on the outward but what are you saying inside of your heart and if you're not paying attention to it you could be saying all kinds of vile wicked nasty things inside of your heart and you don't even realize it so we do need to realize it because that's what Jesus Christ is is looking at time and time again that's what he was concerned about uh, upon men on this earth right so that's pretty much what I have for this video guys I hope that you're staying steadfast uh, in the faith and uh, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.